Here's a cute little project. This is uh, the DDS that I got from the gentleman in Greece, available online. I put the modulator in here. I also put his 15-watt uh, Class A amplifier in here with a few modifications. I've uh, used the modulator to modulate the uh, amplifier. And the back of the rig is, it's a repurposed box, so it's got a few extra holes in it. But uh, anyway, PTT, audio in. Uh, anyway, uh, RF out, power in. And uh, let's see here, does it look good on the scope? Let's see what happens here when we put this thing in transmit mode. By the way, it's good from 100 kilohertz all the way up to uh, 30 megahertz. Oops, let's put that thing in transmit mode right there. All right, it's now transmitting. And uh, let's turn off the audio for a second here. Let's see here, audio off, carrier. I've got this thing set to run with my LD MOS box, so I made it so a maximum carrier can be barely over a watt, about a watt and an eighth or so. Uh, but there's a watt. I can turn it all the way down real slow, down to nothing. But And the LD MOS, I'm going to start down here and slowly creep up. A lot of people, I think, might have overdriven their LD MOS boxes. But anyway, this has the ability to really adjust it down where you want. And then there's wide open at a little over a watt right there, about a watt. And then the audio superimposed on there at 100% modulation is, let's show, show you the scope first here. Let's go dead carrier. All right, so dead carrier right there uh, at our two box reference. And there's our textbook 100% modulation, maybe a little bit on the low side. Well, anyway, somewhere around here. And then we can extremely exaggerate the positive peaks with the modulator, and that affects the power output. So 10 watts PEP is, or 12, whatever that is, is what I plan on putting into the LDMOS box. So there's uh, basically, you've got this pot here, if you can see the scope, I don't know, is a symmetry, and that's the big positive peaks. This one here is final audio, how much you stick on the carrier, that's right here. All right, and then this one here is the carrier. So you can see, get rid of the audio. Uh, you can see the carrier move. So that's it. Not real complicated. Not a whole lot of parts. Just a little box. We'll see how it does at some point in time in the future when I get the LD Moss working. The LD Moss is uh, in a uh, heap of pile of stuff right here. It's, uh, <coughs> it's sitting right here. Uh, so there's the, uh, the pair of devices mounted on their heat sink with the spreader. The heat sink has got a baffle. The baffle's got a fan on this side. It's gonna blow the air into the heat sink area and out both ends into this box and then suck air from the front of the box. The input and output connections are on the front, and the rack mount, and uh, that's all that's gonna be in there, nothing more. I was going to put this thing in there, but I figured to make it now a separate box. So there it is. Uh, that will be whatever happens when it happens.